Hello, it's Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Today was Wednesday, February 7th, 2018. Today was the inventory report CL pitch strategy that I like to put up, and today was a good day. Uh, I put the video together. It's still processing and rendering and all do that happy stuff it's going to do. So when it's available, I'll load it up so you can see it. It was a one trade win today. Um, Ultimate profit target probably have been able to hold it. You'll see that it was about 6201 was what I was looking for. The market went down as I'm looking at right now. It looks like it made a low around 6162, something like that. Bottom range that I had today was around 61. Oh, hold on, where did I have bottom range? based upon the high of the market today. So bottom range that I had today was 61.56. It did go through the GAN numbers today. It was it was a good trade. I made personally in the funded account, I made 80 ticks today. I was able to pull out 80 or 800 bucks less commission costs. It allowed me to move the account, the funded account up over a thousand in two trading days. Those who humble themselves will be exalted, Matthew 23, 12. So I'm fortunate that I was able to, to see it. I got in at 63.21 at 9.32 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I exited the trade at uh, 62.41. Uh, woulda, shoulda, coulda, right? If I would have had 62.43, 62.44, I would have been able to hold on for an extra 40 ticks and pull out $1,200 today instead of $800. So it was that close. I got too little too close to the market on the pullback. It took me out at 62.41 at uh, 9.57 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I was in at 9.32, out at 9.57, and made $800 bucks of real money into the funded account. So knock on wood hopefully I'll hold on to it and grow that so one of the things I want to leave you with today that I was reading from Ben Feldman some of the things I've been reading a bunch of different books but the difference between 1,000 or excuse me let's go with this he said 100,000 to 1 million but let's start at this let's start at the very basics what's the difference between 100 and 1,000 if your answer was only one zero then you're good so basically if you think of it that way, that was a really good um, concept. So right now, where have I been struggling? Between 1,000 and 10,000 is where I'm struggling right now. 100 to 1,000 is easy for me to hit in any given day or week or, or whenever. But to be able to go from 1,000 to 10,000, to add that extra zero, that's where my struggling point is. And then what's the difference between 10,000 and 100,000? Once again, only one zero. 10,000 to 100,000, 100,000 to 1 million. The only difference between those that that dollar amount is the added zero. It's in other words, it's the 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 crap that we tell ourselves in our head that we're not worthy of that extra zero, right? Each one of us has a limit, you know? So if it's 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, Whatever, whatever that limit is, each one of us has a limit that we think we're not good enough to get over that. So where I can tell you that I'm struggling is between the 1,000 to 10,000. So that's where my struggle's been. I've been here at the over 1,000 mark in the funded account. This is my fourth time, I believe, that I've been up over 1,000 in the funded account. So it's time to, as one of my mentors uh, says, uh, S H I T, she it or get off the pot, right? So, um, I won't go that drastic. I, I mean, is this going to be the time that I'm able to pull out and pull away and and use the volatility of the market? I, this is what my method was was designed for was high volatility. Eventually, it gets to the point where it gets extreme volatility, and then if it gets to that point, then it gets where it gets uh, on a small account, it gets kind of hard to trade. So. Right now, we're at that volatility level that I like. I like for us to stay there for a while. But if it gets up, if it keeps going up and up and up, then, you know, 20 ticks, if, if 20 ticks in the market can be filled like that, 
then then you know that the extreme volatility on a small account is is can be very detrimental to you too as well so it's that double-edged sword volatility can go for you or go against you really quickly today it went with me and I pretty much never looked back after I got in at 6321 and went straight to target so uh, well not straight to target but it took you know 932 to 957 woulda shoulda coulda I could have had an extra 40 ticks and, and got out around 6201 that would have been where I would have exited a trade today um, that's about it I, I put that information it'll be up on the video when it's uh, there and available so I obviously will add this one first and then I'll add the trading video after it and I'll put a blog post together uh, a little bit later on today I'll, I'll hook this all up onto a blog post so that you can look at not only the this video and the trading video but also the charts that I collected along the way too as well and my thoughts about it um, that's about it I hope that you had a great trading day today if not uh, I, I stay you know if volatility scares you you know remember uh, let's let's leave you with this thought the difference between 100 and 1000 is only one zero so what is the amount that has you spooked right 10,000 didn't used to spook me but obviously since I can't bust through it it spooked me now so that's where I am in my trading going that extra adding the 1,000 to the 10,000 so that extra zero in between there is what spooked me right now so let's get past that I'll see you on the inside I guess I'll see you on my next video Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com thanks for watching thanks for being here I look forward to seeing you on my next video bye for now